to do a quick screen recording here of how to do a canvas uh, for canvas groupings ordered through CG Pro Prints. Um, when it comes to sizing your canvases and getting them ready, um, all canvases through CG um, it does have a um, one and a half inch border. So you want to take that into account when you're um, sizing your images and making sure that what you want to show on the face of your canvas does not um, wrap around the edges. So um, this is the beautiful canvas here collection that I'm going to be um, going after. So I'm going to put together some of these files here. You're going to see me start to finish on how I prepare those canvases. Um, first, let's go ahead. I'm going to do um, this top right one is going to be a square and that's a 10 by 10. Um, so what I do is I do file new, which brings up this new document in Photoshop. Um, I always want my um, my inches here to be selected. I can go ahead and rename it up here. So CG Pro Prints 10 by 10. Uh, that's 10 by 10 is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna do my width is 10, my height is 10. So 10 and 10, there we go. Uh, 300 is my resolution. RGB is color, 8-bit is what you can save it as for a JPEG, and I want currently white for my background. Go ahead, here we go. So this is my, what I'm going to do as far as my starting point. So these are my canvases, are my um, initial images over here. Let me, um, I'm going to sort through and find that image for the top left. Here it is. What I do is I take the image and I literally drag it and drop it into Photoshop. This is it here. So you can see there's this white area up here, white area down here that I need to resize my image. So you always wanna take one of the upper right, left, bottom. Um, one of these are going to be the uh, markers that you pull with. You never pull with the middle marker because this will distort your image or you never wanna pull here. See how it distorts it there, kind of pulls it in there. So that is incorrect as far as how I want to size it. So I'm going to drag it back in. When I uh, size it here, I'm always going to push shift and I'm going to take a top corner and I'm going to pull it so it sizes it well for when I uh, move it in. So I want the image somewhere around here. I'll make it maybe a little bigger. Kind of pull them in. I think that's going to be really pretty. So as you can see, there's a lot of overhang over on the left side, some overhang on the right. Top is enough and bottom there is a little bit. Well, let me tell you, I size the canvas here for the very front of my canvas that will be printed. I'm gonna tell you right now, you still have to prepare for the edges that wrap around. That being said, what I do is I do, I go up to my files tab up here and I do canvas size. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this window here and CG has a 1.5 inch wrap around. And that's going to be top and bottom. So it's actually going to be three inches I need to add to my canvas. Regardless of the size you're ordering, a 20 by 30, 30 by 40, 10 by 10, you always add three inches to the canvas itself. So that's going to go ahead. I'm going to do 13 by 13 here. Um, you can change this to a different color if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as white. And you're going to see here, it added up some more space that I actually have to fill in to create the canvas. I do not like leaving a color around the edges of my canvas. I feel like a total wraparound canvas is the only way to go. So we have a couple options. I'm going to go ahead and merge my file first to start. So I'm going to work on a uh, one layer over here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my layer. So I'm always working on a layer above. Two options. First option is to take my um, marquee tool up here, select the area that I need to fill in and do a content aware, which is for me, shift delete. Content aware is gonna guess what it should be. Let's go ahead and try this up here and see how it goes. I think it did pretty well. Knowing that this part is wrapping around anyways allows for me um, to show you that there's actually going to um, not, that's going to wrap around, so it doesn't even have to be perfect. It's going to be, um, what would you call it, uh, wrapped around and not even seen, if you will. It doesn't matter. Um, another method, so let's go ahead and we're going to try this again uh, with the content aware feature. I'm going to move the box so it's simply where I need to fill it in. Shift delete. Let's try this method, see if it works, and I'll also show you another method. So that to me works just fine. As you recall, 
if we go back, if I were to take a marquee tool and I were to size it specifically 10 by 10, I'll show you here. This again is the right here where the marquee tool is the only part that's going to be showing on the front part of the canvas. This all out here, all this is on the edge of the wraparound. So really, that's only going to be seen if uh, someone's looking to see it. This bottom part of the dress, I don't care how it is because it's underneath on the wraparound part. As long as those colors start pulling through around the wraparound, nobody's going to inspect the side of, side of that, those canvases. Um, so that's one technique you can use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come back here. We're going to bump back a couple steps here. All right. See here we have, let me go ahead and get out of my marquee tool. Uh, this space here is back again. So we're backing up a step. I'm going to show you a second option when it comes to filling in the blank area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to normal on my marquee tool. I am going to grab this tiniest bit of this image here and I'm going to hit control, command T which brings up this uh, let's see here this little transforming area I can take this bottom tab and just pull it down pull it down to right here now remember this is going to be wrapping around the canvas itself so again, I don't have to worry about what this side of the canvas is. It looks scary in thought, um, just looking at it here. But if I go back to that fixed size of where the canvas, the front side of the canvas is going to be displayed, I'm not even going to see this area. This is only wraparound. And I encourage you to test this out. Do it on a canvas that you have in your studio sample and you will be amazed that this does not uh, show. Clients will never question this. So this is how I would size this canvas. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sharpen it as I wish, and then I'm just going to save it as a JPEG and continue on to uh, the next canvases. Hope this is helping guys. Again, I'm going after this cluster here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one, this image here. This is a 10 by 20. So for a second time around, I'm going to do new. Width is still 10. Height is now 20. I keep it in inches, 300 resolution, RGB, 8-bit, and a white. Here we go. So this is like the front side of the canvas. Let's go ahead. I'm going to find that pretty image. Here we go. Drag it, drop it in. See here, top and bottom, I need to fill in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to size the image by pushing shift, taking the top corner, here we go, stretching it out so everything is sized in proportion. I don't want to cut off his feet on the front side of that canvas. I'm going to go somewhere right about there. And as you can see, there's not going to be enough on the bottom for me to feel confident in the wrap itself. So we're going to have to add on to it. So we're going to go ahead and go up to image, canvas size. Again, adding three to each. So instead of 10, it's 13. Instead of 20, it's 23. Here we go, on the bottom I have to add on. So I'm gonna go over to the right side, merge my layers, work on a duplicate layer. And my favorite is going to be, oops, go back to normal here. My favorite is gonna be just letting my computer in, in uh, Photoshop sick, uh, let's see here, I'm in the cloud, is the content aware feature. I'm just gonna let it play itself out and bam, I have enough of um, an image to wrap around on the bottom now. So I would size this image, um, it looks well, I'd sharpen it, save it as a JPEG, and upload it. Simple as that, guys. I would just continue on throughout this gallery. Um, hope this helps, give you a little insight to the direction as far as how I prepare my canvases to print. So the image itself of what I want is going to go around the full um, canvas itself. Let me show you, had I, uh, let's see here, let's go back to where I, um, Let's see here. All right, this is the image itself that I placed on it. Once I sized the canvas to what I would need um, for ordering. So this is a, uh, if I wanted to stretch this image more so I didn't have to fill in this white area, I'm gonna show you how it would cut off. If I were to go right up there. Let's see here. 
I were to upload this to CG as is, let me show you what it would look like when it came to my home. Once it was delivered, 10 by 20, it's gonna be 20. Let's see here. Right there, see the bottom of his feet we cut off had I have pulled this image big enough and not filled in the gaps. So if you just went and took your images and dropped it into the website without preparing them for print, their feet would be cut off. And I don't feel that's a good representation of my work, so I'm gonna size the canvases according to how I want the front of the canvas printed. All right guys, that's it for me. Hope you have a great day.